What would you do if your partner hated your profession and was constantly punishing you for doing it? Well, on today's case, that's exactly what Mr. Taylor says is happening to him. He says the love of his life, Miss Wright, hates his career as a massage therapist, so much that she has resorted to petty and crazy tactics that are scaring both him and his customers away. Is Miss Wright in the right, or does Mr. Taylor need to take a more hands-off approach? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Taylor versus Wright. Excellent, thank you. Mr. Taylor, Miss Wright. Mr. Taylor, you say that the defendant is ruining your relationship by making wild allegations that you are cheating. To make matters worse, you say her accusations are also damaging your lucrative business. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wright, you say you love Mr. Taylor, but you want him to stop disrespecting you and start acting like the gentleman you believe lives inside of him. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what the real problem is. You guys have been friends for five years. You've been together. Two years, you live together. I think you're looking at making it a long-term relationship, but something is messing it up. <laughs> so let's start. Why are we here, Mr. Taylor? So basically, we're here today because Nia, she's not the girl I met five years ago. Five years ago, she was sweet, caring, considerate. Nowadays, she's bitter, aggressive, annoying, and just plain old mean. Uh, What'd you do? <laughs> mean, mean, yeah. that's, a, that's the first thing that, uh, that a woman's gonna say. So you must have done something to make her go from that sweet and caring and kind, fabulous lady uh, to a bitter, mean, you know what, the yes. way you described it. Yes, Your Honor. I've done nothing to her, you know? I'm great. I'm a pretty pro. perfect specimen. I'm just being honest to you. But I'm hoping today you can speak to her, kick some game, kick some knowledge to her, and get through her head, because something's not clicking. Because if she don't get together, I got to give it back to the streets. You know, I don't want to do that, so I'm hoping... It doesn't sound like that she came from the streets, Mr. Taylor, but we're going to find out who is going to get kicked to the curb once and for all. So, Miss Wright. Mm -hmm. You heard what your boyfriend said. Yes. He said you done gone completely off the rocker. He done bamboozled me, Your Honor. This man is not the same man I met. How about that one? He made it seem like he was Rico Suave. He would come to the block acting like he got the money like that. Even give kids ice cream he don't even know like that. You know, show him with the bling bling. Now he want to act like, you know, he's all humble and stuff. That's not the same man I met. Mr. Taylor, how did you meet? All right. Perfect, Your Honor. See, about five years ago, my friend at the time, he was on um, social media and he was scrolling down and I seen Nia. I said, yo, I said, hold on, yo, who's that? Who's that, you know? And he tried, he tried to warn me. He was like, yo, stay away from that. She's trouble, she's bad news, don't fall for it, you know? But I didn't listen, so she was playing hard to get in the beginning. And, um, but you know what I mean? I kept trying and kept going. Eventually, she gave in and um, she was down bad. She needed money for her rent. She was staying in some small apartment. How'd you know that so early on? Don, oh, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. But you. after a while, for me talking to her and trying to get to know her, she opened up to me and we developed a friendship in the beginning. So at one point, no, she came to me and was like, yo, I'm down bad right now, in between jobs. I got the eviction notice. You know, she was crying on the phone. I was like, all right, all right, all right. I got you. What you need? She said she needed $2,000. I mean, kind of steep, but we both agreed that that money will be given back. And I submitted proof of the transaction let me see what the proof is. Uh, mm. I give it to the courts. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's a cash app, too. And it says payment to... And... Exact time, date, all of that. Yeah, it doesn't say no evidence that I had to pay it back, though. Never... There was evidence. So this is oh, what we're going to do. Let's find out. You said she came to you and asked you for the $2,000. Yes. You said, I got you. Yes. I'll send it over to you. Yes. You cash apped her the money. Yes. Now, Ms. Wright, how did this come down? Well, what, how it came down was it was COVID. And what I do, I work for a certain events. And, you know, during COVID, there were certain events that had to get discontinued. I understand that. So I told him, I'm like, listen, what am I going to do? And, you know, he was trying to get in my good graces, try to act like he's captain, like, you know, trying to save me, because I didn't ask for it. You know, I was venting to him because he was a friend at that time. I wasn't looking at him like that. If anything, he was trying to be my man. So he was doing anything and everything to be with me. So let's get to it. So, you know, I got it like that. You know, it's never nothing to it. What are you talking about? I'm going to get this back in two weeks. Oh, okay. Okay, did you ever say, I'll pay you back? I didn't. 
You I never said, I'll pay you back. I definitely oh, did. I said, goodness. I thank you. I appreciate it. I definitely said that. And I'm not going to lie. That made me look at him like, oh, he could be my man. Because, you know, he's, <laughs> I'm like a friend. He's younger than me. So I do have a couple years on him. So at that point, I'm like, wow, he's older. He's over here taking care of my, my feelings, you know, considering my feelings and everything. So you were impressed. I was. I was So, impressed. Mr. Taylor, let me come back to you. Yes, Do you recall having a specific conversation about the $2,000? Yes. Do you recall specifically saying to her, I will loan you? you these $2,000, but I do want it back? Yes. In between her crying on the phone in tears, she was said that she would pay the money back. Thank you so much. You know, I got you. I'm going to get it back to you. I said, all right, take your time. I know you're going through it. You said take your time. But I want to make sure that I understand what the dynamics... So the dynamics of the relationship, it started, quite frankly, as a transaction. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we're just going to be very honest Let's with be honest. everybody. That's your honor. You became the knight in shining armor for Miss Wright, and Miss Wright was impressed by the fact that you came to her rescue. Anytime a, re a relationship is built on that foundation, we're already shaky walking in. Because it wasn't just plain mutual attraction or I met this person at work and we had something in common. Mm -hmm. It was, I needed him, he stepped up. Mm -hmm. Let me see if this person is the right person oh. for me. That starts off a relationship. I'm not telling you that that doesn't work because lots of people start off that way, mm -hmm. but understand that's how it started off. What do you do? Oh, I'm a massage therapist. I come home from working. She did pull a petty move by putting the dishes in my bed. Why would oh, you do I that? I had to let him know I got know a king-size bed, Yana. I had a problem, you know, just take care of some people at work and, you know, I feel not appreciative. So when I come home and I see all these dishes, I got to deal with my men. So I had to let him know how this house would be if I wouldn't be here. Now, you know that was crazy. Okay, so, Mr. Taylor, from what I understand, you've said that she's been, quote, acting out and, and acting very petty. I need some very specific examples um, because then Ms. Wright's gonna get a chance to defend herself. All right, Your Honor, yes. So, eventually, I let her come stay with me. I asked her to come live with me. Things were going great. How long after you met did, did you all move in together? Um, oh, well, I met her and five years ago, so that's like 2017. Mm -hmm. She didn't move in until Christmas of 21. Okay, so all of this has been going on. You've been getting to know each other. Yes. You've been dating, if you will. Yes. Throughout this whole time. Okay, so... Exclusively dating, Your Honor. Have you been a good guy? Of course, Your Honor. No cheating? No, Your Honor. Hmm. Okay, so now you say you're living together, but things change once you started living together. Yes, Your Honor. Talk See, to me. All right, perfect. Well, I work a job. I work a job, just putting it out there. So sometimes I come home and I'm tired. It's my home. What do you do? Oh, I'm a massage therapist, certified massage therapist. Do you do well at it? Very well. So in other words, you are the, the primary breadwinner in the family. Yes. Okay, keep going. All right, so I invite her into my home, you know, get her out of that studio apartment, give her some space, you know. Everything was going well in the beginning. Now, I come home from working, because sometimes I would do an out call, and you know, go to a, go to a client, and then come back home. I do several clients a day sometimes, so my hands get a little tired. Why do I want to go from massaging clients to doing dishes when I have the perfect dishwasher in the home? Miss Wright doesn't work outside of the home. She's, have, she's a bartender. I have moments. Yes, a spotty bartender. Part time. I'm not gonna front. It's it's, it's not consistent. But you know, when I have my days when I be cleaning after people, I don't want to come home and clean after him. She did pull a petty move by putting the dishes in my bed. Huh? So I, yes, Your Honor. I was sleeping in bed, and then I woke up from, like, my nap or whatever. She said, since you don't want to go to the dishes, I'll bring the dishes to you. So I'm laying in bed. Imagine you wake up, you got pots and pans, I got breadcrumbs, old pasta. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, she just lives to be petty. Why would you do I that? Had to let him I got a king that, size bed, Yana. That That's day, crazy. I had a problem, you know, just take care of some people at work, and, you know, I feel not appreciative. So when I come home and I see all these dishes, I got to deal with my men. And then I see him sleeping, smiling, like he just gave, like, the best massage to somebody. I don't know, but it just, like, it brought the, like, fury out of me. I just saw red. So I had to let him know what, what he, how this house would be if I wouldn't be here. Now, you know that was crazy. That's such a, a sick thing. Wait, wait. I want to find out what the triggers are for this kind of behavior. Because I leave stuff out. But like, leave what out? Like, I leave my drawers. I leave my joys. Evidence, you know? Evidence. You mean my equipment? Tell me the setup uh, for your massage business in-home. What is okay. it? Okay. You know, I have a room 
where it's a massage bed. I got the oils on the side on the window ledge. I got the lotions. I got the CBD oil. Got it. That's your work stuff. Yes, Your Honor. My question is, yes. when you finish work, do you put your work stuff away? No. Yes, I try to put my equipment away. You know, keep it nice, store it in a nice uh, area, keep it room temperature and whatnot. But... but you're talking about what you're doing for the equipment. I'm talking about what you do for the partnership, for the relationship. Oh. Because in the common space, mm -hmm. the last thing a woman wants to do is to walk back into her house and see evidence that somebody else has been in there. That's just not what women are going to feel. That's and true. that's just... That's just to give you some insight as you grow your business... And in order for the, you all to live in harmony, you might have to put some changes in place so that you can make that common space truly common. She hid in the closet when I had a client over. Like, she pulled the R. Kelly, was trapped in the closet, and then <laughs> wants to pop out. I'm over here massaging, massaging this client. She heard some noises. Moaning. Boom, the girl's all scared. She pulled the girl off the massage table. I have to see it for myself, Your Honor. This was a client? Cause I'm gonna tell you, if I was on that table, we would have had a problem, okay? Cause that don't even make sense. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Now, Miss Wright, don't just shake your head because that sounds a little cray cray. It was cray cray. Don't get me wrong, but you have to understand when you just had it up to here and you know your man is wants to be a jokester and be thinking everything is a joke. You gotta let him know I could be jokey too. You wanna be jokey jokey? I could be hee hee ha ha too. You know, he wants to be money. petty. I'm just getting money. That's not being jokey no, jokey. No, but being tell, jokey, did you jokey tell her how you get money couch. too? By also do, be friend, be, um, working with somebody I was friends with. So what happened? You know, I had to find out from other people that, you know, you, have you been checking up on your man? I think he's working with so and so. I'm like, he wouldn't do that. You know, and then I see in his phone, like later on, I see a message like, oh yeah, you have time for me? What? Do I have time? So I see the, the number two, and I remember that number because that was my bestie. That was somebody who I would vent to about him. And it's crazy because she's the same person I'm like, oh, get away from him. He ain't no good. So the fact that the matter is my man is working on somebody who told me to get away from him. She got money. Where's the respect? You see what I'm saying? So you're saying if I work at a car dealership and she come in, I can't sell her a car? But Mr. Taylor... If I work at a pizzeria, I can't give her a slice? And where we from is <laughs> like, everybody's in everybody's business. It's a job. But Mr. Taylor... You know what happened between her and this woman? It was some mess, right? Female. It don't matter, that. but it was some mess, yes, right? Yes, Your Honor, yes. It was and mess. you know Miss Wright not feeling her right now. Yes, Your Honor. Correct? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a long-term relationship with this other person? No, no, Your Honor. You met her through Miss Wright, probably, right? Yes, Your Honor. I can imagine that your massages cost anywhere from $75 to $250, depending on what you're asking for. That's true. Do you need that $75 to $250 from this person that much that you would tick off the person that you claim to love? No, no, Your Honor. But to my defense, she was supposed to find out. So you were going to keep it from her? <laughs> no one where we're from, everybody's in everybody's Ms. business. Miss Wright, I, I don't yes. need an amen corner. I just want to hear what you're saying. I just want to make money, Your Honor, you know? No, you didn't. You wanted to be petty. Y'all do petty. That's what y'all do. There's some couples that go out and dance salsa. There's some couples <laughs> that like to cook together. There's some couples that like uh, to watch, like me and my husband, we watch forensic files. We mm. like to see murder cases. That's the lawyers in us, yeah. okay? But there's some couples that do tit for tat. She does petty stuff too. She stole my I car. I didn't say she didn't. She stole my car. She hid in the closet when I had a client over. Like she pulled the R. Kelly, was trapped in the closet, and then <laughs> wants to pop out while I'm doing a client. I lost business. I'm over here massaging, massaging this client, uh, a long-term client I had for a while, giving him a nice massage, whatnot, and I guess she heard some noises. Moaning. I'm, but I'm didn't a... you pop out of a closet? She popped out, boom. The girl's all scared. She pulled the girl off the massage table. I had to see it for myself, Your Honor. I'm sorry, oh, but I had to see it for myself. Okay, but Miss, Miss, Miss Wright, Miss Wright, he was working. I'm working, man. This was a client? Because I'm going to tell you, if I was on that table, <laughs> <laughs> we would have had a problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Because that don't even make sense, you know? I understand. I mm -hmm. understand how it works from your point of view. Think that's not just from my Everybody point of view. Everybody's point of view. You think that that just... This sounds nuts. Petty, what y'all doing? 
Y'all supposed to be trying to look and see if you're gonna build something together. That's true, Your Honor. You have to be proud of him. He's the primary breadwinner. Mm -hmm. You have a roof over your head. Mm -hmm. You, you I, I, I'm looking at you looking fly as can be. Thank, that's because of me, though. You're welcome. Okay? That's because of me. You're welcome. He don't okay. do none of that. I'm gonna teach you how to fight appropriately. Okay. Because there's always gonna be some tension between you. Oh, but, Miss Wright, didn't you popped out of the closet? I did. I did. Semi flipped over the table, like you on the Real Housewives of whatever. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you lose a client for him. So that means that took money out y'all's pocket. She, yeah. And broke my iPhone, Your Honor. She smashed but my But tell iPhone. her why I broke the iPhone. Why was you hiding? He was hiding and holding on to the phone for dear life. Her friend texted me, asking for another session. Is this the same friend that you weren't supposed to be talking to? Mm. Possibly, possibly. No, possibly. You know good and darn well if it was. If you got your phone broken, you remembered the exact set of he circumstances. Knows. I, he knows. Now I think about it, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, you now just think about it. Again, why do I catch you I... both in petty? You came here to court to say she's not the same girl you fell in love with, that she's, quote, insecure, picks yeah. fights, and is extremely petty. Miss Wright, then you say Mr. Taylor takes care of the bills and stuff, but at the same time, he's being disrespectful. Yes. Mr. Taylor, yes, do you Honor. want Miss Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Do you love Miss Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Are you trying to build something with Miss Wright? Of course, Your Honor. Then you need to come to her with respect. Mm -hmm. that's, that's... You need to carve out some space within that apartment that is your workspace, and then cut off clients at a certain time so that you and mm. your partner have privacy and time together. You know that. Mm. This is not rocket science. You know I'm not sure. telling you something mm. that you don't know. Now, Miss Wright, do you love this man? I do. I do, Your Honor. Do you think you can build something with I him? I feel like we could build something, Your Honor. I then really you do. can't be crazy. Right. As cat, you know what? Because you're <laughs> acting crazy. That doesn't even make sense. You're right. Okay? Well, Y'all need to think about whether or not you want to be together. If you want to be together, then you're going to make real changes. I yes, know, sir. I, I'm not Excuse a quitter. Me, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Um, I got something on my chest I want to talk to her real quick in front of everybody. If you don't mind, just give me one second. Since you've been... I've mind been talking up real to you. Quick, baby? Pull up, pull up, baby. Pull up, baby. You know. We're going through a lot. We both got issues and whatnot. I'm going to work on my stuff, you know? I see you want to change, right? You want to change. Yes. I want to build with you. I want to take it to the next level. You know what I mean? I know you like Beyonce. What Beyonce say? If you like it, put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I want to take that leave with you. You know what I'm saying? I got it right here for you. Oh. You don't got it. You lying. Got it. It's, it's a ring pop now. I'm just playing, <laughs> I'm playing right, right here, baby. Right here. <laughs> Boom. Take that for you. Oh, right my God. Girl, take that off that okay, finger. Okay, put okay, okay. Take that off. Yeah, we're taking it off. Right here, baby, right here. Oh, yes, I do. Right <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did you say yes? I do, I oh, yeah. do, yes. I do, I do. All right, Sadie, Sadie, married lady, no more popping out of no closets and no more turning over at no table. I'm not. And you, tell that ex-friend of hers she's fired. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We made things happen, baby. I'm, I'm off the market. Yes. The market. So you gonna be better to me? You gonna be better to me? Of course, of course. Of Please. Course. We ain't gonna be back here no more. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not trying to come back. No, we're not going. We're not coming back here. Okay. Oh, we're going to DR for the honeymoon. Yeah. They were Petty LaBelle <laughs> up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about tit for tat. I have never seen somebody smile that big as when she got that ring, boy. Uh, when he when he got down on one knee, I was smiling. Okay, so are we wusses? Because you know I did like that. Of course, I loved it. Okay. I loved it. I loved it. I want romance. And why am I the judge on divorce court and I want romance? <laughs> <laughs>